Hello filmmaker lovers, how are y'all doing today? I wanted to go ahead and play with some new releases from Adept Cosmetics. I am super excited about all of these. They came out with four different face palettes and they actually did do face palettes years and years ago. I think I actually decluttered them when I was moving because they are really old, but these look so, so beautiful. I'm obsessed with the packaging already. So there's two that kind of are like more bronzy and then two that are more blushy. So I figured we could go through, do live swatches of everything. Cause I know I saw so many comments from y'all that you missed my live swatches. So we're gonna live swatch it out today. <laughs> and then I will put as many of these on my face as I possibly can and then Let's be honest, the star of the show because eyeshadow is everything. We also have the new Minka palette to play with. The way my jaw dropped when I saw this for the first time, it's just so stunning. All of the neutral shimmers in here, I just know I'm gonna love already. They look so, so beautiful, so sparkly. There's like a little pop of purple. But overall, I feel like this palette for me is probably going to be one that I pull into which is like a neutral matte through the crease and then literally any of these shimmers on the lid will be perfection. They're so pretty. So there's what it looks like up close. I'm trying to get you guys to see the shine and I mean it looks beautiful but I still feel like it's not doing it full justice. I also have a very content kitty on my lap right now. He's just here for the vibes, right? One last thing before we get to all the good stuff, I do have an affiliate code with Adept Cosmetics. It's just Amy Loves. You save a little bit of money, and I also make a commission, and I just wanted to say thank you guys real quick for everyone who's continued to use my codes like the last few months, even though I haven't been present on YouTube. Um, your support still means so much to me, so I did just want to say thank you. I forgot to mention that in my original video just because like codes were the last thing on my mind, but here we are. So let's jump in. Like I said, there are two bronzy face palettes. So let's start off with G let's start off with Gianna. So here's what she looks like. So we've got a bronzer, which seems to have like a pretty good, like just soft tone to it. I feel like this is a very fair skin friendly palette. I really, really like that shade. And then we've got this highlighter, which is going to be a little bit too deep for my skin tone personally, but I think that would be a really beautiful highlighter for a lot of people. And then also I could see using it as kind of like a bronze topper when I'm feeling a little extra, I'll throw some shimmer over my bronzer. So I could see those two being cute together. And then lastly, we have this kind of like golden bronzy highlight shade. It's just like a pretty true gold. It kind of reminds me of the Amrezy highlighter from ABH, I want to say. I just realized I promised you guys live swatches and I'm doing this right here. I don't know what's wrong with me. But there is what Gianna looks like. Everything feels pretty smooth. So the second bronzy palette is called Ayana. So here's what she looks like. I feel like this one is definitely suited for like medium to deeper skin tones. So we've got a matte bronzer. And then this highlighter. And then this one's like a little bit more of like a coppery highlight. I personally will probably be using these ones as eyeshadow. What is wrong with me? Okay, so here is Ayana. Next we have the two blush palettes, which I think is what I'm the most excited for out of all the face palettes, just because I honestly haven't worn bronzer in months and I have just been obsessed with glowy blush every single day. So first let's go ahead and do Stella. So here's what she looks like. It's kind of like two blushes and a highlighter, but they all look super, super glowy. I feel like this top one is kind of like a glowy cranberry blush. I just think it looks so, so pretty. We've got something like a little bit softer, a little bit more peachy. And then lastly, this highlighter, which is a soft gold. So pretty. Okay. 
So there is Stella. Um, I mean that highlight is glowing. It's a pretty gold, but I'm kind of curious actually to compare that to the other gold highlighter that we just watched from this one from Gianna. Let me see how close they are. Okay, so Gianna is just a tiny bit more of a warmer gold, just a slightly, slightly deeper. So there's those swatches up close. Okay, last but not least, we have Valentina, which is such a cute name. This one is three blushes. So if you're in, here, in it for the blush game, this is the one I would go for. Again, no mattes to be seen. We stand. So first we've kind of got like a soft pink. It's a little bit cooler toned than everything else going on. We've got this one's a little bit more of a copper. And then lastly, we have like a deep mauvey pink, which is so, so pretty. Okay. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. So there's Valentina up close. Okay, this is kind of weird, but I just really want to put the face palettes on now. So let's go ahead and do that. Get some blush, some bronzer, some highlighter on, and then we could do the eyeshadow swatches and play with the eyeshadow next. So I think, let me see. I'm gonna start off with the Gianna palette and I'm gonna use this bronzer right here. Like I said, I haven't used bronzer in forever, so I feel a little bit out of practice. But I'm just gonna grab a complexion brush from Alamar Cosmetics. Pick up a little bit. Okay, that's pigmented. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of share. Just blend that out. I really do like the tone of that. I feel like it's not too warm, it's not too cool. It's kind of just doing what it needs to do. And honestly, it's blending out pretty good considering I don't have like a typical foundation on. I just went in with some rose oil from, or technically it's called thorn oil, but I keep wanting to call it rose oil from Virtual Defee. And then some concealer from Too Faced and that's it. But I think that looks pretty good. I guess whatever's left over on my brush, I'll kind of bring around my forehead, but I'm not too worried about it. The real difficulty is choosing a blush. You know what, maybe I'll go into the Stella palette because this like peachy blush in the middle right here, I feel like is speaking to me. I'm just gonna use the same exact brush. Pick up a little bit. Oh, that is so glowy. Okay. I may have even went in with a little too much, but that is super pretty. I would definitely just use a light hand if you have more fair skin because these are pigmented. And then I think I'm also going to use the highlighter from this palette just because it seems to be the lightest highlighter of the whole collection. And honestly, I'm just going to use the same brush. I'm just going to like focus it on the tip. Just the tip. And I'm going to put that right on top of my cheekbones. Okay, so... I don't know that any of these highlighters are gonna work for me necessarily because I don't know if you guys can tell, but when I go forward, they have a little bit of a cast on the skin. So I can blend them in really well and kind of mesh them with the blush and it'll be okay. But I definitely have to be careful. It's okay, I still like the look overall and I feel ready to play with the eyeshadow palette. I don't know, I was just like, dang, I just need something on my cheeks. Just first impression, playing with the face palettes, if I had to choose just one, it would probably be Valentina because I like the blush the most of all and this one is just a blush palette, so I think that's gonna be my favorite. Now, let's play with Minka. This is such a small detail, but I really appreciate how cute and unique all of the like girl names that are in here are. I was thinking if someone was like, you need to choose a baby name out of an eyeshadow palette and you were scrambling for an eyeshadow palette, it would be this one. I, don't, I mean, I don't know who would like make you do that, but if you, you know, hypothetically had to, <laughs> I think this has such, such cute, unique names, but let's go ahead and start swatching. This sleeve was not made for pulling up, so hopefully this is enough room. 
All right, let's start off with the shade Minka, which is what the palette is named after. Okay, the super, super delicate, intense shimmers you barely even have to touch. Look at that silver. I feel like I don't even need to say anything. Like, you just already know. Next, we have Emma. Same vibes, just have to touch it just a little tiny bit because it's pretty thick and intense. It's just a kind of like golden shade, not super warm, just a really pretty bronze. We've got Ava, which is a little bit more of like a gunmetal shimmer. Again, holy cow, that is just stunning. I feel like I like I'm speechless. This one has like a little bit of a green shift going through it too, which is so pretty. I am just feeling like if you've always wanted to try an adept palette, but you thought they were too colorful for you, and you've just been waiting for like to try out their texture and their intensity, but you wanted it to be neutrals, this palette is the one. So we have the shade Layla, which is a little bit more of a true gold. Super, super pretty. We have Maya, which this one is kind of like a purpley silver. I love that. So pretty. Very, very chunky, but it's stunning. And then we've got Toya, which is a soft purple matte. Feels super, super smooth. Oh my goodness, that shade. We have Luna, which is a soft kind of like purpley blue. That one feels like it's the wettest eyeshadow yet. It's kind of a strange texture and I just don't know that that's gonna pick up that well with a brush, but with the finger, it's super, super pretty. It does look a little bit darker, I feel like, on my finger than in the pan. And then we have Nora, which is, oh my goodness, that's so pretty. It's like a greeny, antique gold. We've got Cora, which again is super, super like wet, kind of putty-like. And that is giving Lime Chrome from Natasha Nona. I feel like it's very similar vibes. Maybe a little less duochrome-y and more just like a lime green, but it is so, so stunning. Wow. Lastly, we have Linda, which looks like such a pretty multi-chrome. We've got green and pink going on. Ooh, look right there, you can see it pretty well. That is stunning. We've got Selena, which is also a multi-chrome, but this one's a little bit more sparkly and a little bit more pink. They're like the same vibes, but just different. Very similar but not quite the same, okay. And then lastly, we have Maria, which is a deep purple matte. Oh, wow. Okay, that is so, so pretty. I mean, it's swatched beautifully. I do feel like if you're someone who hates to use your fingers with eyeshadows, this might not be the palette for you just based on like first touch, but I don't mind at all. I think it looks stunning. You can't really see the shift as much, so I'm gonna do a video on my phone. Let me insert that now. So I went ahead and threw on some eyeshadow primer. Let's jump on in. I feel like I already kind of know where this look is going because I want to stick to just the Minka palette. So I'm going to use the two matte options that we have, starting off with the lighter one, Toya. So I'm just loading my brush up with that and I'm going to start it off in my outer V and then work my way up and into my crease. 
just blending out in circular motions. Going in with a little bit more. Just using this as the transition shade. It's actually blending so, so nice. Same thing on this side. I'm feeling super grateful because I woke up early um, and I started filming early specifically because my neighbors have been redoing their roof and it's been really loud all day long. And thankfully the workers have not started yet. So hopefully we can make it through this video with good audio. So next I'm gonna take a either really small crease brush or really big pencil brush, however you wanna look at it. And I'm gonna go into the Deep Purple Maria and I'm just gonna focus that in my outer V. Just kind of placing it right here. And I'm pretty much just gonna do that for now. Just kind of get the shape. I don't know that that's 100% even, but it's fine. I'm gonna go back into the previous brush and use that to blend out. just for it to be super, super soft. Kinda gonna do the same thing again, just whatever's left over on the brush, going back over that, kind of blending over the edge a little bit. And I'm definitely enjoying this matte formula. So now for the lower lash line, I think, oops, that was loud. I'm gonna take a little bit of Maria first on a flat eyeliner brush, just on the outer third, connecting a little bit. Okay, and then for the rest, I really want to go into this shade Luna, um, but because I'm using it on the lower lash line, I need to use a brush, and I'm hoping that it'll pick up okay, but I'm not sure. Like I said, it's a little chunky, chunky, chunky. Okay, let's see. I picked up just a little bit. I'm just going to kind of press that in. Okay, that is beautiful. but it's definitely not gonna be the easiest thing ever to apply with a brush. That's okay. I mean, I feel like that does look pretty, but definitely not my favorite formula to work with with a brush, but I digress. Let's see, I really wanna use the shade Maya all over my lid just because it is stunning. So I'm just gonna pick that up on my finger and tap off the excess, but I'm hoping I'll have minimal fallout because it is a really thick formula. So I'm just gonna pop that on. Oh my goodness, okay. So, so pretty. And yeah, I got just like a few sparkles falling, but overall pretty good, especially for that like level of intensity. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. I mean, I definitely could have used a glitter primer and I don't think I'd have any fallout. It's not bad per se. Mm. I don't know, I think next time I'm gonna use a glitter primer. So for the inner corner, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull into a highlighter that I have near me. This is the Laura Geller Pixie Pearl Highlight. It's not available anymore, but it's just a really pretty soft pink. I'll show you if I could open it, there's what it looks like. So I'm just gonna use that to highlight my inner corner. I feel like I don't need to do too much because there's already a lot going on. Okay, so off camera, I'm just gonna throw on some mascara, finish off my lips, and I'll be right back to give y'all my final first impression thoughts. So overall, I am really excited about these new releases. I feel like I do have some pros and some cons. So starting off with the face palettes, like I said, my favorite I think is Valentina just because it is all blushes and I feel like I can use every single shade and I just really like how they're glowy and just super, super pretty. I do like the overall finish on the skin. I've been using a lot of cream blushes lately, so in comparison, this does give a tiny bit more texture than a cream blush would, but I still think it's really, really pretty for being a powder blush. I do wish that one of the highlighters in all of the palettes um, didn't have so much of a deep base to it, between the two lighter gold ones that I swatched side by side, I feel like I wish one of them had been a little bit lighter without the dark base so that I'd be able to use them as a highlighter because I feel like on my cheeks, like 
it looks okay, but it's just a little touch too deep for me. But I feel like if you have more of a medium skin tone, honestly, all of these shades are gonna work for you. And then as far as the bronzer goes, I did really like it. I feel like it looks nice. It blended easily. And I love the packaging on these as well. I feel like they're so sleek and so cute. And I love how they match the eyeshadow palettes from Adept. And then as far as the makeup palette goes, I think it is stunning. I mean, I kind of already knew that I would love it based on the color story and my previous experiences with Adept's formula. So my original judgment stays true. I feel like it is beautiful and it's gonna be such a go-to for like all of these neutral shimmer shades. They're just, like the intensity is real. Like I said, in the future I'll use a glitter primer, um, but it wasn't bad. The only like real con I have is just some of these shades are so like putty feeling specifically the ones on the bottom here that I feel like they're gonna be really, really hard to use on the lower lash line and I would rather just reach into something else for that. So that's definitely a little bit of a con that I can only really use them on the lid without having to like sit there and like work to get them to apply. So I would keep that in mind. There has been other shades like that from Adept in the past, but normally it's like one shade per palette that's like super putty-y and it wasn't enough to like really note, but with these, like especially this shade, I'm like, that will be so pretty on the lower lash line, and it is pretty, but I had to sit there and build it up for a second, which would normally be a super, super quick step. So yeah, overall, I like it. I think these multi-chromes are super, super pretty too. I can't wait to play with those. So yeah, I think it's pretty. And the two mattes that are in here, I mean, it's kind of basic, just two mattes. You don't really have a ton of options, but I think they blended together really pretty and I could see how they would work really well with all the neutral shades in here and then also with like some of these like greeny golds like for a little bit of more contrast and just be super, super cute. So yeah, I am happy with the palette and can't wait to play with it more. So that is everything for today. Thank goodness we didn't get any construction sounds. I am so happy about that. So yay, what a win. It's a Friday, it's gonna be a good day. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one, bye.